Hey guys, Shin Storms with Droid Modder X. This is just a quick tips video for the LG G3. Whenever you get a new phone, uh, there's a lot of things that you don't know about it, and it's always nice to have a little bit of assistance to find out features uh, that are useful on your device that are specific to your device. This video kind of rounds up my favorite uh, things about this phone. This is just a really quick video with my top five tips on the LG G3. Tip number one, uh, this phone does have buttons on the back. If you're laying the phone down on a table, you cannot reach those phones on the back. So the best way to turn the phone on and off, or to turn the screen on and off rather, is to just double tap the screen. So double tap off, double tap on. Tip number two, uh, just like in some custom ROMs, you are able to change your navigation buttons, which is a really neat feature. You don't even have to be rooted. This is included in the stock firmware of the LG G3. You just go into settings, display, home touch buttons, and then you can change the button combination. You can actually rearrange these buttons and you'll see the changes made down here at the bottom instantly. Uh, no need to reboot the phone or anything like that. You can also add your own buttons such as notifications, quick memo, Q-slide, and dual window right there to the navigation bar tray. Tip three is how to enable shortcut keys. So you'll go into your settings and you'll scroll down to system and click on shortcut key. That allows you to use uh, your back buttons here as shortcuts. So when you turn those on, the volume button becomes your notepad and the volume down button becomes your camera. So the way that this works is if the screen is turned off, you press and hold either of those buttons and that'll launch the application. There I just held the volume down button and it launched the camera app. Tip number four is the Q-Slide applications. This is a really cool multitasking feature on the LG G3 that's built in. Basically you just pull down your notification bar and tap on the Q-Slide toggle and that gives you all of your Q-Slide applications. So basically you can uh, open these and they open up as a small window that can be moved on the screen and you can have two open on your home screen at once this just enables you to do multiple things on your home screen at once this is kind of similar to the multi-window feature on the galaxy note 3 and other galaxy devices tip number five is another really cool feature that used to be a root feature on older devices that needed uh, ram space so like if you remember the moto uh, droid x back in the day, uh, you needed to clean your RAM, and in order to clean your RAM, you needed to be rooted. This phone includes a memory cleaner without root. So you just go into settings. So you go into settings, click on smart cleaning. So basically, once you launch the smart cleaning, you would just click on uh, one of the options and select clean. And it'll go ahead and clean out that folder, freeing up some important valuable space. So anyways guys that wraps up the top five tips for the LG G3. Expect more of these in the future as I get to know this phone even more as I use it on a regular basis. If you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.